All right, guys, we just got on. What is this, Thomas? First of all, I'm so new to the, to the sailing game. Yeah, coming up. This is, hi, how are you? Welcome. Good, 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 guys. Welcome aboard. So what are we on? This is the Exquisite X5 Plus. It's a multi-award winning sailing catamaran. Uh, when we presented the X5 in 2017, it already won the boat of the year, best catamaran and most innovative boat at that time. And then this year we just launched the X5 Plus, which now won again the best cruising catamaran over 50 foot. Cool. So can I, I I'm I don't know anything about catamaran sailboats or anything. So for instance, my audience is mostly powerboat center consoles. I, I have filmed some yachts, but can you give the person who's interested in the yacht in, in, in the sailing cat world mm -hmm. all the information or specs that they might be interested to know about this particular model? Absolutely, let's walk in a little bit. Alright guys, so let me go ahead and uh, I'm excited to, to film this for my audience. So the, the whole story of our company a little bit is uh, my wife and I we sailed around the world for 11 years okay. in, in 90 countries, 110,000 miles and we own wow. many different boats over the years. Wow. And, uh, and we, you know, we we, there are lots of things we didn't like on each brand we owned and then, then we never got the service from the builders that we, we needed to so we just decided to make our own pretty much wow and uh, and that's ended up being the x5 and then the x5 plus and now our new models so we don't just build the boats and the highest quality and have fully equipped all the boats as standard but also all our boats comes with services so you have so much experience uh, a fair bit, well, listen, listen <laughs> don't be humble here. You just said 110 countries. So 90 countries, 110,000 miles. Okay, 90 countries. So, so regardless of whichever way you see it, you're you're pretty salty when it comes to being out on the ocean. I mean, I, I, we had to, got this mastiff in the middle of the Pacific, had two lightning strikes and lots of other goodies. So that kind of counts as experience. We'll talk about the book later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell me, so is this the actual boat this that we're on or is this power boat that we are designing actually it's already in production okay this is a 60 foot uh, 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 very high-tech new power boat uh, designed by bill dixon mm -hmm. dixon you're designing the uk and uh, the transition from sailing boats if so, a lot of people you know either get tired of sailing or or they just want to move on to power boats mm -hmm. uh, this has a very advanced hybrid uh, propulsion system uh, by Emotion Hybrids uh, from Italy. So it has big diesel engines, but also has electric motors coupled to the same sail drive. And a massive 160 kilowatt hour lithium battery bank, as well as nine kilowatts, kilowatt solar panels designed into, uh, built into the design already. So what, what, obviously, other than the mass and the sail of this is powers this, what else can power this particular boat we're on? Uh, this one you mean? Yes, or no, this one. This one that we're on has 2.3 kilowatt solar panels. Okay. It has 22 kilowatt hour lithium battery bank. So it's sufficient to run all your daily needs uh, and some part of the air conditioning. You know, after if you're running all your air cons, you're gonna have to start up your generator after a while. Mm -hmm. But you have everything electric, like the grill is electric, uh, the cooking is induction uh, 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 as well. You can run all the water maker, everything standard, dishwasher, washer, dryer, water maker. All, that stuff. all right, let's go ahead and see. Okay, you're coming in here. This is the salon, as you can see, and the galley. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm That's fine. <laughs> okay, so let's start here. The galley is all the island unit was designed by my wife. Oh, you can, you can Hello. Lean back onto it, so you have your hands free in any weather condition. You just lean back to the island, okay. and you can you can have your hands free. There's a dishwasher built in here. Yeah. Uh, induction cooking with extraction hood, as well as a microwave and the convection oven, two in one. Yeah, and now here uh, you have, we use to for storage space every square inch of the boat. You're gonna have to move back. You're gonna have to move back. Oh my goodness. So that's the size. That is the like first time I've ever seen that. There's a bread maker in here. Okay, so it's, it's pretty deep in storage. That is so wild, this guys. This is a liveaboard boat, you know, to sail around the world for families. And, and that's why all the space needed to utilize every square inch possible. Be you got the standard of this, you and got the water maker, and so your water is already clean on the water, but for, for drinking water and the ice maker goes through an additional second filter as well. 
Now you can control and monitor the boat from this iPad. It's, you can control your lighting, for example. It shows now galley lights. What is drawing is off and for the for the galley lights. You can just dim any lights you wish, and you control all your tanks and electrical system as well. Solar chargers, batteries, inverters, everything on it. If you would be fueling up your boat, you have the iPad in your hand, you go to the filler, mm -hmm. you're fueling one tank, and from here you start your fuel transfer, you transfer fuel to the other tank, so you okay. can do it all on your own. All on the same side, wow. This is Sarah, my lovely wife. Hi. <laughs> so what, in these experiences that you've had with this gentleman, what would you say people would want to know about this particular model? After all the places that you guys have gone, and what you really like about this particular model? Well, we lived on this model and sailed around the world, so I think everything and all our lifestyle, the cruising life, it's what we basically selling to our clients. We did it, we've been there, we enjoyed it, we survived all kind of better conditions. And we're still together, right? And we're still together. <laughs> so it's very easy to handle, like single-handed sailing, you don't need a crew member. Those lightning but strikes uh, that one day, were you guys questioning if this wasn't a good idea, maybe. <laughs> but every second day I questioned. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's how you want to live your life. And, and that's awesome that you guys can, can share these experiences with others that want to do the same thing you guys have done. So, yeah. all right, let's go ahead and uh, see that's very, the other areas. See, this, this is here a coffee table that folds out to a dining table. Okay. Alternatively, you can put it on electric pedestals to become a large bed because here's your TV, uh, it's electric that comes out and then you can watch the movie nights, the whole family fits there. Okay. This is part of the galley, obviously the refrigeration and built-in ice maker. And another cool feature of what we supplied in every boat is a full setup tool cabinet for all the tools that you might need while you're cruising. And we don't just supply all the tools, but we also supply all the spare parts as well. We have boxes labeled up with generator spares, engine spares, water maker spares, electrical spares, plumbing spares. Every pump that's on board, there is a spare new unit in your spare skip, every line. So it's a fully set up, uh, uh, stainless steel fasteners, whatever you name it. So our boat is set up for you as we deliver it for, for sail around the road pretty much. All right. So this way is the master cabin. Let's go into the master cabin, guys. Um, so one thing they don't see right now on the camera is that nice 70 degree air conditioning that we have coming out of these areas here. And uh, we got a pretty hot day today here in South Florida at the boat show in Miami. And, um, you know, I, I do want to kind of talk about that because maybe some people will be in areas where it's really hot or they want to be in areas that's really cold so they're going to have to have heat and all that on the boat so tell me a little bit that, about that too it's while cool we're here you're touching the air conditioning because we just upgraded the air conditioning systems uh, on the newer boats now from next year we put all the air cons or direct uh, 24 volt dc air cons and the variable speed compressors and so they did speed up and slow down the compressor instead of the traditional start stop so they're very power efficient also very quiet uh, so you can run them just off the batteries the entire boat. And uh, here, as you see, our signature design is this, we call it the gill windows. Uh, and all the windows in the hull, there's lots of opening hatches, overhead hatches and, and hull windows. So there's a lot of natural light in the boat. I see that you there's have a TV that slides out here if you wish to watch TV from bed. Tons of storage and international plug points, USB plug points everywhere, so you don't need adapters while you're sailing around the world. Obviously, tons of storage. There is other little wine storage under the steps, and each step is uh, 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 it becomes a storage as well. Other cool feature that this boat is, is built in a way that every component, everything is accessible. So you can take tanks out, you can take engine generator out, every panel is removable. Uh, even the plumbing, the plumbing doesn't run in the bilges, it runs in a dedicated channel that is a straight channel. So you can just pull out the holes and, and put back the new one in. It's very, very simple, all based on maintenance in remote, remote places in the room. That's where you're like, I, where are we going to get this? And we're in the middle of nowhere. That's when you designed this. You said, 
Remember this happened in this country so long ago? Let's prevent that from happening. That's pretty much it. And not just that, but how our after sales service works also. That's very unique based on our own experience because we know what a cruiser needs when they're remote places. We are, the, I think, one of the only company in the world, boat company, that we deal with uh, component warranties. So then when you have a, most of the things fail on these boats are components, engines, generator, water maker, things that we did not manufacture. We have yeah. to manufacture the warranty. So other boat builder is going to tell you when you have an engine problem, go to Yamar, Volvo, whoever built your engine. In our case, you only call us. So we only call our own service manager, and then we take it up with our suppliers, and we use all our leverage we make, can to make it make, make it easy. Yeah. Exactly. So boats break. We all know that. Yeah. At least, how do you deal with that breakage, and how much the company stands behind the product? That's what we try. Hundred percent. Because like when you're stuck out there and you need somebody to answer the phone, that's important. That's where we are. So we have a team. We're also building now our own base in the Bahamas. We're in the in the in the process of purchasing our own marina and resort in the Bahamas, where we're gonna have our service yard, where we can haul out our boats. We can do all the repairs you need. We offer dockage, hurricane storage, and and nice hotel rooms and some drinks. For you. Uh, nice. Sounds good to me. This is a, a whole big uh, wardrobe, like his and her side. It's as big as what you can fit on a 50 foot boat. Uh, on our 60 foot. It's a walk-in wardrobe, so this is much larger. The 60 foot is the one that we just saw. We're doing two new models that both are in production already. A 60 foot sailing cat, mm -hmm. we call it the 60 solar sail, and we do the 60 solar power. Uh, both of those are hybrid propulsion, lots of solar panels and all that. Nice big uh, uh, bathroom with lots of natural light and, and uh, storage also here in the behind the mirrors. The full full beam of the whole uh, shower and your laundry room here with the washer dryer. Uh, one highlight: this washer dryer combo is vented, so it does dry. Because some of the non-vented dryers, we know that they don't work very well. See, I wouldn't have known that. <laughs> I'm I'm just being real here, okay. and I like the fact that you guys have a lot of ventilation uh, and and you have areas that you can go ahead and and get light in natural light, right? Sure. All right, so lead the way. Okay, let's go out then this way. All right, it does not feel cramped in here, guys. Just show them around and I'll be yeah. So this way is the guest cabin. So the design concept is the same that you have all the natural light with this window seal, the whole windows, and there's another port light in the bathroom. And not to lose that natural light, we created these acrylic uh, 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 shower glasses. And how it works, the same door, you can use it for the toilet or you can use it for the shower. That is so wild. Yeah. The whole board with the, with the distributed uh, power system, it's also a very interesting thing. That uh, the four corners of the boat, Mm -hmm. uh, it has just a pair of cables, 24 volt, come down to the four corner of the boat and then it's distributed from there. So you see this is the Season Digital Switching System. We also won the best system installation award for, for the quality of our wiring and system installation. Where are you guys making these? These boats are built in South Africa, Cape Town, at Phoenix Marine Yard, our partner there. And now our new power boat range, we're building it in Europe, in Poland and Portugal. That is awesome. You can go ahead, the other cabin there is pretty much the mirror image of this one, so it also has the ensuite shower and toilet. So, because it was a cat, I would have expected it to be a little tighter in here, in, mm -hmm. the, whole, in the whole living area, right? In the whole living space. But um, you definitely have a lot of storage. I mean, I could see a family. Were you guys traveling with children or you guys were just traveling, you and your wife? It when you was guys just us. We did charters around the world as well. So nice. guests really like the space as well. Nice. So look at the, it's kind of, uh, kind of like a, a mirror image head here as well. Uh oh, something was, something was pressed. Somebody pressed something. They're moving something now, guys. All right. So let's walk uh, around the boat and talk sure. about, about some of the things that they would want to know as far as the sailing side and okay. Here, I already showed you, I think, the electric grill, right? Did I? Or yes, yeah, we okay, showed the, we showed the grill. The bar fridge. Uh, this cockpit could be fully enclosed. This is nice, hidden, recessed, uh, uh, fold-down curtains. 
that enclose it uh, has one layer of a mosquito screen, so mm -hmm. it breathes through, and, uh, but gives you privacy and keeps the bugs out, and a second layer that is full enclosure uh, in really rough weather. It, it encloses it to such level that, that you have the sliding door open and run the air conditioning or the heating, you can control the temperature of the space somewhere. This app, uh, 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 this is app storage space. Obviously, houses the motors for the electric davits that works with radio control. It has the scuba setup here. And then this is a backrest that you can you can adjust to different angles. You know, if you want to read a book or something. And underneath, you just put this up. You have the compressor and the four tanks built in here. Very easy to fill them right there and then go diving right up. So. Oh, this is it. This is it. I was already. I like to hear that this is it. <laughs> yeah, so I brought my brain trust today. Oh, <laughs> somebody's going to be with you in one minute, okay? okay I'm sir. just finishing up here. Uh, if you come this way, that converts also to a table or, or, or becomes a bed, as you wish. And as I said, you can protect this area. Nice feature here, when you come out of the, of the water after just, just, just the swim, you have a nice overhead rain shower just above my head. Oh, look at that. What a detail. I, you know, I wouldn't people even... More people, you know, that's what they usually that, that they use. Okay. Great. So we got the, I see that we got the helm up there and then... Uh, Let's walk on there because there are... They'll they'll fin yeah, they'll finish up. We'll, we'll, we'll work around them. So this is where you see that we have 2.3 kilowatt solar panels and these are real glass panels. They built into the, into the molding already, so built into the coach room. So they have ventilation underneath, they're much more efficient. It's real gloss, laminate gloss windows, so we don't use acrylic windows. For power borders, it's, it's, it's a normal thing. Sailboat world, not that much, that we have solid railings all around the boat with nice solid stainless railings. It gives you lots of safety. Now the boat is uh, supplied as standard with a big 45 gallon an hour water maker, also 24 volt DC. But if for any, re uh, let's say, a safety feature, water maker could fail in the middle of the ocean, then you can collect the rainwater to your tanks. The entire coach route becomes a, a, a rainwater collecting channel. Wait, I gotta show that. Hold on a second. <laughs> I gotta show that. Because that's something as somebody that doesn't know, like myself, is gonna say, what happens if you have a catastrophic situation and you don't have water? And what you just mentioned is brilliant. So it catches everything and it brings it down. You leave this open and you start supplying water and then you can filter it and you survive. That's correct. Wow. Interesting. So very, very. Fully carbon fiber uh, uh, in boom furling mainsail, which is very simple to use. Every you you sail this boat alone, it's completely single-handed sailing. Everything push buttons, so you don't need physical effort. Because you either, if you have to pull on a line, you use it with the electric winches, and the other you just ease. So it's very, very simple. And it comes three hat sails, the soft tacking jet the Genoa or an electric Harken furlers and then a third sail would be the boat sail it's not up because we're using if you see above you is a big shade it's a custom shade for this foredeck area and we're using now the spinnaker halyard to pull up this shade so that's why this coat sail is not up but it would be if it would be using the coat sail it connects to that electric pad eye so that pad eye has a motor built in there 24 volt motor so that turns, it operates a top-down furler, and that's how you, you handle your coat sail. You have more storage than any other 50-footers. It's just massive amount of storage everywhere. Now, on, on, a, on a sailing uh, cat like this, what would you use primarily like this area to, to store? Like what would somebody oh, store in this area? Stand-up paddle boards, kayaks, inflatable stuff, uh, pulled-up bicycles, you know. Uh, uh, spare sails, scuba gear, okay. uh, this goes on and So on. it's all dry? It's all dry storage these in there? These are semi-dry lockers okay. uh, uh, and then these two here where we have technical lockers, these two are even larger and these ones are dry completely. That's where the water maker is and the water tanks. So there's there's a lot of space here. There's There's a lot of usable space inside and then you come out here and, and another cool feature that you see that every nut and bolt has quality control torque marks on them. So you see the level of quality control that go there, you know, when the boat is launched to make sure that everything is tight and everything works. 
day, this way, you receive the water catchment system. So it, it has it on both sides? Yes. <laughs> Let me record the how I'm reaching and then, and then John and I'll be doing it you guys. So, Thank you so much, guys. So let's uh, talk about the home. I have another question that I wanted sure. to ask you, which is I, I think this has a self-packing jib, which okay, I got yes. all Go that. There, generally all, all that. right, let me get up here, guys. So this is your ham, obviously, where you control the entire boat. All the lines, without exception, are led back here, and they stored in this uh, 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 rope storage box under the under the helm. And uh, so it's very neat and organized. You have obviously the chain counter, so you can drop your anchor alone from here. Uh, you have all the navigation equipment that you need. We use the latest Garmin equipment. Other cool feature that you have like a storage there for loose items, as well as wireless phone charging, which is waterproof. And and this area here uh, could work two ways. If it's if it's you just want to be out of the sun, it is like it is now. But if it's rough weather, it zips around the full enclosure, so this becomes a, a totally protected little cocoon in any weather condition. Now, when it changes and it's very nice weather, or you want to sail at night watching the stars, this you just zip it off, and this slides on hard and tracks. You can slide this down mm. and, and like a convertible car top. Wow! And you have it all open. Can you explain for, for myself and maybe people that don't know, so how does this whole system work here? So when you want to uh, move and, and change the mass and all that stuff, how does that work? Okay, I mean, you have obviously sheets and halyards to control the sails. Okay. And then the furlers are electric. This is what, what you've seen before on the bow. Okay. So this is, for example, your jib furler. This is when you can furl in and out your sail that's rolled up on that furler. Mm -hmm. And then the other time you put the sheet onto the electric winch and then you operate it with your with your feet uh, with your foot here you just foot switches that oh. starts pulling the sheet that start pulling out the sail and then you just push this button to furl out so no physical effort needed okay and if you want to just furl it in it's just reversed you easing the sheet and push the other button i'm not even going to pretend i knew what you just said <laughs> but now i get at least an understanding but but somebody who's interested in this world or this type of cat Sailing cat will understand exactly what you've been showing. They will. This is a, this boat is designed for simplicity of sailing and uh, single-handed. How, how fast can a hole like this go if if uh, if you're sailing? You know, the, the cross fastest the we ever got the X5 Plus up with sea trials was 18 knots. Okay. But it's it's not like the every speed that you're going to get on this boat. So in, in, a, in a comfortable cruising, you're going to do 9 to 10 knots. Uh, in ideal, perfect condition, you go 12 to 14. You know. Uh, uh, that's what would be your sailing speed. In the sailing world, are certain are certain cats more um, aggressive for speed? Others more for comfort? Would you say this is kind of like a hybrid? What would you say this this hull is designed to, to do? There are pretty much three main categories in catamaran design and construction. Okay. Uh, let's say on the lower end are the, the more mass production charter oriented boats where the interior volume is more important than the performance. Uh, okay. Uh, and then the other end of the spectrum, the high end are the performance catamarans that are designed really for fast uh, sailing. And those are like real racing or sailing machines that do wind speed or, or above wind speed, uh, 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 speeds, sailing speed. And we are, I would say, we're in between the two. Good. We're not as fast as a thoroughbred uh, uh, performance boat. But not as slow as let's say a, a, but you have the comfort more voluminous uh, charter boat yeah so we are in between has all the creatures comforts you need but still a very decent sailing performance all right well listen up i know you guys are here trying to sell some boats and some sailboats where can they go online if they wanted to get some information let's let's go in here real quick sure. because i want them to see uh the the backdrop of what they're gonna buy um so price uh, price points, starting points from how it is equipped today to maybe somebody needs something a little bit more simplistic based on what their needs are. Um, what are they looking at as price points and, and any other further information you think they might need to know? In our boats it's quite simple because pretty much everything's included. So all the equipment, what you've seen, everything is already in the base price and it's $1.8 million for this boat. There are a few options still, but things that not everybody would want. For example, the scuba package is an option. Satellite communication, satellite TV is an option. The 
let's say the dinghy package is an option, but pretty much everything else you sell pretty much is standard. So since my audience is, is more, mostly power boaters, they, somebody's got two million dollars right now, but in his mind he's saying, I love that thing, I wouldn't mind having a sailboat, but I won't know how to drive it. Mm -hmm. How would they learn to drive something like this? And is it, is, it a, is it a hard process for someone to learn? Look, we give them a checklist before they, they receive their boat, some of the basic trainings that they should get, you know, get their basic captain's licenses, research a little bit. But when we deliver every boat, we spend two weeks full on time uh, uh, on board training with the owners or training captains with them, teaching them how to sail, how to anchor, uh, go through all the systems, educate them how, you know, electrical, plumbing, etc. on the boat works, so they so yeah, understand their boat. Awesome. Can you give them your information so they can go ahead and I'll still put it on the description below. Where can they go online to go ahead and uh, reach out to you guys? Okay, very easy because uh, we don't use dealers or agents. We only sell our boats directly. My name is Thomas. I'm the founder and the owner of the company. And uh, it, you just dropped me an email, info at exquisiteyachts.com. You see here in the powerboat, the exquisite start with an X. So it's as easy as it is. Just info at exquisiteyachts.com. It comes directly to me. I'm the only one who's gonna sell you a boat. So it's fairly easy. Thank you so much. This has been an enlightening video for me. Guys, Alfred Montaner, I hope you guys enjoyed Thomas and uh, his crew over here at the Miami International Boat Show. Thank you very much.